What is up everyone? Today I have a core toning bed workout for you guys. I know I'm outside, but you can do this in your bed, on your couch, on the floor. You honestly can do it anywhere. So I'm gonna show you what to do, then we'll do the whole thing all together. Okay, time to dig into that core toning bed workout. Remember, you can do this in your bed, you can do this on the floor, your couch, anywhere you want. You don't even have to stand up for this. So, you can start seated, just like I am, and then bring yourself to, you probably want a cushiony spot somewhere, so if you're on, if you're outside, try to do this in the grass so that you're somewhere in a soft spot. So, we are going to do each of these movements for 30 seconds and we are gonna start with some leg raises. So, you're gonna come down, bring your chest and your belly, upper body to the ground, bring your legs overhead, dip together, place your hands by your sides for stability here, and we're gonna do leg lowers and lifts. So you're gonna use your core for this. So you want your back flush with the ground or your mat, and you wanna use your abs here. You should hear your voice start to quiver. You wanna use your abs to lift up your legs. So you don't wanna just have momentum here. If you need to bend your legs, that's okay too. And you can still use your abs with your legs bent. So we're gonna do that for 30 seconds. From there, we're gonna do a Russian twist, cherry pickers. So bring your legs parallel together and cherry pickers reaching side to side. So think, try to tap your hip. If you need to bring your feet to the mat and do this with your feet on the ground, that's okay too doing those Russian twists for 30 seconds. Making sure you're lowered back till you find that C curve in your back so you can engage your core. After that, we're gonna do just plain old sit-ups. So bring your feet hip width apart parallel. You may want them a little further out from your bottom for some stability, and then bring your upper body to rest on the mat. So I'm gonna do arms overhead, flat palms, and slow roll up to the top. You don't want momentum here. You want this to come from the abs rather than just swinging yourself up. So think round back, then reach for the sky and reach forward. After the sit-ups, we're gonna do toe touch crunches. So kind of like a V-up, we're gonna do, you can start with your hands here to balance. If you need, you can just bring your knees to your chest that way. If you wanna make it even more challenging, you can tap for your toes. But if you need to at any time, you can always place your hands back on the mat, all for those abs there. And finally, evening out that ab work with some back strengthening work, we're gonna come to the front side of our body doing some swimmers. So come to the front side of your body, squeeze through your lower back here, arms shoulder width apart, feet hip width apart, alternating opposite, alternate lifting opposite leg and arm. So just like you're swimming it out here, try to keep your chest lifted and swim and swim. If that is too much for you, you can always come to this tabletop position and do opposite arm and opposite leg lifts here as a modification. So that was your core toning bed workout. You know the moves, you know what to do. Let's do it all out. All right, all out. Time for this core toning bed workout. You know what to do now. Let's do the full thing all out, no excuses, you guys got this. We're gonna take it to our soft spot, inside, outside, on our couch, on a bed, wherever you want. And bring your upper body to your mat or your ground, hands by your sides, 30 seconds with those leg lower and lifts, starting in three, two, and one, ready? Using those abs here, try to keep that back flat with the mat. If you can go a little bit faster, that's okay. If you need to slow it down, that's okay too. Remember, you can have that slight bend in the knees if the straight legs is too much for you. So using the abs to lift it up. So try not to have any space between your back and the mat. So you want your hips turned up and tucked under. Three, two, and one. Go ahead and sit it up. Time for those Russian twists, 30 seconds here. And three, two, one, and go. Remember, if you need to place your feet back on the ground for more support, you can always do that at any time. Try to lift your legs maybe a little off the ground for a little challenge. Just try it, play with it. Keep your legs up here together. 
You want those flat shins. Keep the abs engaged, almost there. Remember to breathe through this. We got three, two, and one. You can come up to seated before getting right into those sit-ups. So feet hip width apart, roll back so that your upper body is on the mat. Arms reach overhead, 30 seconds, and go. Reaching forward. Think about sitting all the way up before reaching forward. So reach to the sky and reach forward. Think chin is going towards the sky. Take the momentum out of this. You want it to be coming from the abs. Remember your breath here. Keep breathing through it. Plant your feet into the ground. We got three, two. We're gonna do one more. And last one, best one. Sit at the top before going into those toe touch crunches. So remember, like a V up, you can start with your hands here for support and take it out to a V. That's why it's called a V up. And bring your knees to your chest, rounding back till you feel those abs catch. You wanna do those V ups. If you wanna take it to a toe touch for an extra challenge, you can do that too. Or if you need to place your hands back on your mat, just engaging those abs, abs that's what really counts here. So keep going almost there. We got four, three, two, and one. Okay, now time for those swimmers. Make this your best because we are almost to the end of this core toning workout and swim it out. 30 seconds, swim it out. Strengthen the lower back here. Try to keep your chest lifted. Keep those legs lifted, squeezing all through the backside. Remember, you can always take this to a tabletop position if you need. Just swimming it out, almost there. Breathe through to the end, so close. You got three, two, and one. You guys are awesome. You just killed that. That was your YouTube core toning workout. And make sure that if you liked that, you subscribe to our channel, check out our other core workouts, check out Coach Mare's workouts, and leave us a comment, let us know what you liked.